Uh, I'm Björn, I'm uh, Head of Research at Affinity and I'm here at Dev Connect in Istanbul with Max from Bitfinity. So Max, what are you doing here? Oh, hi everyone, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Bitfinity. Uh, we're an EVM, that's an Ethereum virtual machine. And uniquely, you can use Bitcoin in conjunction with the EVM. So you can have uh, uh, Bitcoin essentially that's custodied by a threshold signature scheme, a decentralized bridge from Bitcoin to the EVM, and you can use Bitcoin in Solidity smart contracts, unlocking a huge amount of liquidity. And as, as Bjorn mentioned, thank you, yeah, we're here at a hackathon at ETH Dev Connect, and there are some builders in the room next door building stuff on the, on the EVM. That sounds great. Yeah. So can you go into a bit more detail, like how do you connect Bitcoin uh, to the EVM and what is the role of the internet computer? Absolutely. So we all know about Ethereum. Sure. And there have been various like layer two type solutions on Ethereum. So what is a layer two? It's like another blockchain uh, running transactions, but it also has a decentralized bridge uh, between that blockchain and the main chain, which is Ethereum. Um, and on the, on the Ethereum, you have various flavors of that. So you have ZK-based layer twos, you have um, optimistic rollups, but we haven't really seen much of the layer two space really kick off on, on Bitcoin. And what we use at Bitfinity is some of the IC's technology to create an EVM and also a decentralized bridge to Bitcoin. So you can just have, you know, use your assets trustlessly within an EVM context, you know, you, you know with all the um, so kind of solidity depth that you would have access to on Ethereum. And so does that mean that you can uh, take a lot of the existing um, solidity uh, applications? I mean, there's a vast ecosystem out there. Um, right now that is completely, or it's, it's mostly isolated from Bitcoin, and so you could use those and basically apply the same to Bitcoin? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a huge number of dApps out there, from swaps to NFT platforms to lending and borrowing protocols that, that is really there for Ethereum. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really untapped when it comes to using like Bitcoin-based liquidity. There's very much less out there. And Bitcoin as a, you know, crypt as a cryptocurrency in the chain has been going through bit of a renaissance uh, mm -hmm. recently. Yeah, with the ordinals and right. everything there's that happens a, around. A huge amount that's been going on in Bitcoin. Ordinals, different kinds of st standards, taproot-based assets, runes, uh, some of the older ones as well, like stamps, counterparty stamps. And so there's now this movement which is built on Bitcoin, which ties us in to what's been going on the internet computer with Chainkey. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can have decentralized bridges using some of the really smart cryptographic techniques that maybe you or some of the teams here at Definity have been uh, working on. Mm -hmm. and, and if I may ask you a bit more technically, like um, uh, the EVM is defined as a very synchronous type of virtual machine, uh, whereas on the internet computer um, the canisters are an they, they operate in an asynchronous message passing model. So I assume you had to bridge that. That's right, yeah. So um, the way the EVM works, it's in a canister. And within a canister, you have a synchronous environment. But it's still very highly scalable. So you get a huge amount of throughput, even just through a single canister. And you can, we benchmark the EVM, it can do about 100 times the transaction throughput of Ethereum. Wow. Uh, that is canister, significant, yeah. yeah. So you're getting at least like a thousand TPS, uh, which mm -hmm. is way faster as well than a lot of the layer twos on Ethereum. Yeah. So and and what's next for Bitfinity? What's what's happening? Well, we, there's a collective of builders uh, mm -hmm. who we know, like there's Bob Bodley uh, from the you know who's who's been building Bionic, a Bitcoin-based NFT marketplace, a digital asset marketplace. And we're collaborating with him and a few others to think about how best we can bridge more of these like Bitcoin assets over to the EVM. So you could have not just BRC20, but some of the newer and up and coming protocols mm -hmm. for on-chain assets on Bitcoin. Will this also 
be a way to have a closer connection between the Bitcoin and Ethereum ecosystems? Absolutely. You know, like, so if we think about Bitcoiners as a whole, you know, people tend to think, oh, these like Bitcoin maximalists, people who just want, you know, Bitcoin to be this one chain just for transferring assets and the digital gold. No, I, I don't think that's the right, me you know, that's right. I think cryptocurrency as a whole, we're all Bitcoiners, right? We, we all came it was through it, the, through first, the, mother, one the first one that basically created the space. Yeah, and everything, and you know, with this Bitcoin renaissance, it's not just Ethereum that you can build on, you can also build on Bitcoin. And um, there's going to be a huge amount of growth in terms of, the, you know, the building and the dev space on Bitcoin as compared to Ethereum, which is already very substantially developed. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, if you're a new builder and you see it as an opportunity to build a new protocol in an asset space that's growing and also where you have like a huge amount of liquidity just because there's so much Bitcoin-based liquidity in exchanges and on-chain, then, you know, these layer two solutions for Bitcoin, which Bitfinity is one, is, is, a, is, a, is a great place to start. So then, thank you, Max. I'm looking forward to many applications being built on Bitfinity. So excited for what there is to come. Thanks. My, my pleasure, everyone. Nice chatting thank with you. Thank you. Okay.